How is it going guys? This is Peter here with the new Guild Wars feed. Today let's talk about summoning stones. Did you know that we have 21 different stones? If you collect them all you get something similar. Look at this nice colorful picture. Some of these are easy to get, some take a bit of grinding during events. Uh, but one thing is true for all of them, they make your group somewhat stronger. Either in the form of healing or protecting party members or tanking fools or dealing damage. The ally you get after using a stone is the same level as your character's level and usually lasts for 30 minutes or until slain in combat. After using a stone you get a summoning stone sickness which prevents the use of another stone. Also there can be only one summoned ally in the area and in spite of the description you can use these in missions, endgame areas and not only in explorable areas. Two of the 21 sum stones are exceptions, the legionnaire and the ignus ones. These, have, uh, these two have infinite uses, all the other ones have only one use. Ok guys, let's go one by one and see the pros and cons of each. I also rate them from 1 to 5 and say some useful stuff about each stone and show you guys a summarized table at the end. So the first stone in alphabetical order is the Amber summoning stone which summons the Juggernaut. One of the best things about this ally is the extra energy regen which comes from the aura of the Juggernaut. As long as you or any of your allies are in the range of this NPC they receive plus 1 energy regen. It can also knock down the target with the touch skill for 5 seconds which is one of the longest uh, knockdown durations in the game. The Juggernaut is immune to knockdowns itself and has healing signet but otherwise it doesn't offer too much neither in DPS nor in party protection and the stone can be crafted by Ain in Orgos Warren. The Arctic Summoning Stone and the Quadrolves are the next one. It summons a warrior which has some nice DPS skills like Power Attack, Savage Slash, Self Heal, Snare and HP Boost. Not bad at first glance, but since warriors have only two pips of regen, Quadrolves run out of energy rather fast and they don't use any adrenaline skills either. Find Aja in the Gunner's Hold if you wanna get some of these stones. Automaton stones come now, these summon a golem, a dervish ally, chilling victory, victorious sweep, reap imparities and conviction, not too shabby. The golem is immune to disease which is a nice thing and it can remove conditions, has some AoE damage, but it lacks an elite skill and can't inflict conditions to trigger reap, reap imparities either. The only way to receive this stone is by completing the Azure NPC's Zin's task. It takes roughly an hour and goes through three quests and some running through the falls area. The next stone is a special one because it summons a random celestial. Uh, sadly they are only available during the Kentai New Year finale, but at least some of the 12 possible allies has great builds. Take a look at this list. Uh, I marked the ones which I believe to be worthy. The dog has defy pain, discipline stance and other defensive skills, so it's a great tank with some minor damage. The ox is also a great one, it has 4 knockdown skills, decent damage and 2 self heals too. Uh, the horse is a monk with some healing skills, condition and hex removals. Uh, the rooster is a mesmer with some massive HP degen, interrupts and self heal. The extra armor ignoring damage is always useful in a tough fight. The dragon has probably the best damage of all in this group with uh, his AoE skills like Invoke Lightning, Chain Lightning, uh, it, it also has a self heal and a knockdown. The rabbit has great single target DPS with a great dagger spammer build, it has self heals and teleports, it, uh, it can remove stances, uh, can inflict bleeding and deep wound and can snare too. After the Celestials, let's continue with the Kittenous Summoning Stone. Devourer, a ranger ally, one of the worst stones in my opinion. Hunter Shot, Folk Arrow and Valet are not the best bow mastery skills, but at least this ranger has lightning reflexes, a defensive skill and troll engine, some HP regen. Uh, those nerds who would like to get their hands on this super ally must visit Edwin in Eye of the North and provide the necessary materials. Demonic Stones and Oni now. This drop from the Canaxis chest, so you got a complete deep to get one. Onis in the wilderness are potent assassins, but sadly a level 20 Oni isn't. It can inflict bleeding and shadow step to fools, snare them with dark prison. It has two self heals, but the AI is dump and won't really use other attacking skills but jack strike all the time. Another assassin raptors and the fossilized summoning stone. An Azuran NPC named Quat crafts these in Ratasam. This ally can interrupt fools, can remove stances, 
has a decent defensive skill and strong self heal. Sadly, the long recharge, 10 seconds of uh, disrupting step makes the Raptor's DPS lower than expected. Frosty Summoning Stone and Snowman. This is a quest reward and also possible to craft one in Eye of the North, but only during Winter's Day. The Snowman has armor ignoring damage with Snowball. It, it can snare and daze enemies, has a great self heal. It can be immune to most forms of damage for 10 seconds. Sadly, Snow Cone disables its other skills and it has only one single target damage. Gelatinous Stone and Oaths. You can craft these in Central Transfer Chamber from Alcus Nailbiter. The Oaths has an Earth LA build with two knockdowns, Earthquake and Whirlwind. World against Fools is a strong snare, it can really slow down whole groups. Slightly the AI of this ally goes to melee range, and this is a disadvantage since allies have only 60 armor, and these Earth Magic spells have a long recharge time too. The next on the list is the Ghastly Summoning Stone, probably one if not the strongest allies of all. The Dream Rider is a powerful mesmer with Energy Surge, Cry of Frustration, Shatter Enchantment, Impetty, Power Rain, Chaos Storm, Power Spike and Either Fist. This is like you would get another mesmer hero who can really turn a losing battle to your side. Armor ignoring damage, interrupts, enchant removal, self heal, even anti melee. The only disadvantage is probably Chaos Storm since that causes fools to scatter. And to get this stone, you need to complete all the Underworld quests and beat Doom. Moving on, Igneous Summoning Stone. This is the only one you can't get unless you have purchased it via the store. Uh, to get the stone, you must type slash bonus. And the Fire Imp is a powerful ally, especially in uh, pre searing where the party size is very limited. Uh, it has only 3 skills, Flare, Fireball and Glyph of Restoration. But in low level areas, these are extremely powerful. The next on the list is the Imperial Guard Reinforcement Order. This is a Winds of Change only item. Quite easy to get if you farm the Ministerial Commendations a lot. Using this item will uh, summon 3 random Imperial Guard allies. All of these have decent builds, elite skills, self heal and DPS. Maybe the Barrage Splinter Weapon one is the best of the Rangers. And the Triple Chops Haiku 1 Axe variant of the Warriors. But uh, honestly all of them have a complete build with 8 skills and an elite so they are much stronger than the average summoning stone allies. Jedi stones and siege turtle allies the next one. Uh, the turtle is very often used in the underworld speed clears at the doom part. Uh, you know it's possible to glitch doom and make him stuck with this item. But the turtle is not too bad either. It has some AOE damage and self defense, self heal. But the fact that it can make doom stuck is why people use them so often. In order to get this stone, you will need to visit Alaris in the Deep Outpost and craft one. And the next one is my personal favorite. It has infinite uses and summons an ally which has two elite skills. This is the Legionnaire summoning crystal. 100 baits is overpowered on its own. The Legionnaire has increased attacking speed too. Can knock down, can inflict deep wound and bleeding. It has a self heal too. And let's not forget his weapon change from time to time. There's like 6 different skins, uh, a fancy ally indeed. The only cons I can tell you is the cost of the stone, 1 skill point each time, but this is definitely worth it. And sadly the only time you can get this stone is the Wayfarer Rever event. Moving on, Mercantile Sunstone and the Merchantile Icon now. This is a reward from the Gifts of the Traveler. His build is not that great, has power attack and interrupt, some self heal and IMS. But the fact that you can use it to clear up your inventory is why people love this. Uh, you can sell or even buy some items anytime you want. This is very useful when you simply can't go back to town like in Waiter Farming. Mischievous Stones and the Grinch is the next one. It has almost the same build as the Snowman, but Yellow Snow here instead of Hidden Rock. Using this uh, gives you some armor ignoring damage, disease and some defensive abilities. Said the only time you can get one of these items is during Winter's Day. Let's move on to the Mysterious Summoning Stone, another possible reward from the Nicholas Gifts. This is completely random which ally you get from this list. And maybe the best of all is the Gaki, the Crystal Spider, the Soul Spray Dragon, Smoke Phantom and the Black Beast of Arc. Next on my list is the Gaki and the Mystical Summoning Stone. This is a certain drop from the Urgos chest. 
The Gaki has a decent healing build, recuperation provides HP regen for the whole party. Man Buddy and Su can remove conditions and also heal allies, just like Ghost Mirror Light and Vengeful Weapon. Uh, also, Weapon of Shadow can blind fools, uh, but sadly, the Gaki has no energy management skills or elites, and his build is kind of energy heavy. Uh, a Beep Necro might be necessary for longer fights. The next item is kind of unknown for many the Shining Blade Warhorn. This is a drop from the Royal Gifts, a Warring Krita item. Uh, this summons three random Shining Blade allies, uh, but sadly these have shitty builds and only four skills, no elite. But at least we get not one but three allies, and even if their builds suck, they are good meat shields. Moving on, don't worry guys, only two stones left. The last one is the Tengu Support Flare. This also summons three random allies, but these have much better builds than the previous Warhorns. I think almost all of them have decent builds, elite skills like Hundred Blades, Panic, Spiteful Spirit, Peace and Harmony, Sandstorm, Way of the Assassin and more. The stone is a possible reward from the Imperial Guard Lockbox, another Winds of Change item, but this is easy to farm with the Ministerial Commendation farm. And the last summoning stone on the list is the Zeishan stone which can be traded from Poké in Great Temple of Balthazar, or you can get this uh, as a reward from the Zeishan Strongbox. There are six possible allies, the archer has interrupts, snare and defensive skills but his DPS is not the best. The priest of Balthazar is a monk with uh, both healing and damage, condition and hex removal skills. The guild lord is a warrior with cleave, protector's defense and uh, ranger DPS skills. It's kind of an interesting mix of skills to be honest, but can switch between weapons depending on how far enemies are. The avatar of Balthazar is probably the best of all in this group, a, der a dervish with, uh, with an avatar, pious assault, zealous sweep, it can remove enchantments, kind of tanky versus physical damage, and it can inflict burning and daze conditions too. The footman is a warrior, it has some swordmanship and defensive skills but no elite. Uh, the champion of Balthazar has a decent offensive build, it can inflict bleeding and deep wound, knockdown, it has a self heal but lacks a defensive skill. And there is an interesting bug mentioned on wiki, uh, Spirit of Restoration will resurrect creatures created via summoning stones. I tried to present this, but somehow it didn't work for me, I guess it was fixed or I don't know. And there was another good one, summoned allies may leech drops, but wiki says only in extremely rare circumstances. Plus if you wait 10 minutes you can still get the items, and since allies can pick them up. So guys, this is a table of all the possible summoning stones in game. The ratings only represent my opinions, you can disagree with it as much as you want, but for me the best summoned allies are the Dream Rider, the Legionnaire, uh, the Tangle Support Flares. Uh, there are many decent ones, and to be honest only a few weak allies. Uh, the Merchant is also a good one, or even the Siege Turtle, it really depends on your game style and what your goals are. Uh, let me know in the comment which is your favorite one, and as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.